All right, what's going on, guys? Today I'm going to be giving my MLB DraftKings picks uh, for Saturday, June 3rd. Uh, we've got a pretty small slate today, or a pretty small uh, main slate, only five games. Uh, there are a bunch of early games on today, uh, but like I always do in my videos, just going to be focusing on the main slate, uh, which is a five-game slate. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so looking at pitcher today, uh, there aren't a ton of value pitchers that I'm really feeling good about, uh, so I definitely think you're going to have to pay up for at least one pitcher today, possibly both of your pitchers. Uh, so starting off, the guy that I want up top uh, is going to be Lance McCullers uh, getting a matchup against the Rangers. Uh, this is a pretty good matchup for McCullers. Uh, if you look at the Rangers' splits so far this year versus right-handed pitchers, uh, they do strike out at a pretty decent rate, uh, striking out 22.5% of the time uh, so far this year versus right-handed pitchers. And offensively, uh, they don't hit the ball that great against righties either. Uh, when it comes to average versus righties, uh, they're about they're about uh, middle of the pack against right-handed pitchers uh, when it comes to average, uh, hitting the 247 average that ranks 19th in in the majors, which is about uh, league average. And then if you look at their WOBA rank uh, versus righties, they're about average there, about middle of the pack. Uh, they rank 15th, which is right dead in the middle, uh, with a with a 323 uh, WOBA. So offensively, this is a pretty solid matchup. Uh, the Angels, I mean, the, the Rangers are about average when it comes to hitting righties, and they do strike out at a pretty decent rate, 22.5% of the time. Uh, we know Lance McCullers has good strikeout upside. Uh, in his last four games, he's put up eight, five, three, and seven strikeouts. McCullers definitely has double-digit K upside anytime he steps on the mound. Uh, we could definitely see him get close to that today against the Rangers, striking out 22 points. 0.5% of the time. I like this spot for McCullers. Uh, the only thing I don't really like is the ballpark. Uh, the Rangers ballpark is a very uh, hitter-friendly park, uh, but I think McCullers is the SP1 that you want today. Uh, I think people are going to pay up for uh, Irvin Santana, which I definitely don't mind, but I just don't want to pay near 12k for Ir Irvin Santana. Uh, so that's why I'm taking the little discount off of him and going with McCullers. Um, um, but McCullers has actually already faced his team once this year, and he did pitch very well against them. Uh, pitch, pitch six and one-third inning, only allowed two runs, had 10 strikeouts versus the Rangers, finished with 25 DraftKings points. Uh, so he's already seen this team once this year, had a very solid game against them. I uh, definitely think he could repeat that stat line again today. So uh, Lance McCullers, my SP1 today on DraftKings at 10,800. Uh, and then for my SP2, I think I'm going to be paying up again. Uh, and I'm going to be looking at Matt Shoemaker uh, for 9,600, getting a matchup against the Twins. Now, offensively, this isn't that great of a matchup. Uh, the the Twins actually do hit righties pretty well. Uh, when you look at their average so far this year versus right-handed pitchers, uh, they're about average in the league. Uh, they rank 14th, hitting a 259 average versus the righties this year. Uh, when you look at their Woba versus righties, they're in the top 10 in that category, ranked 7th. Uh, Woba versus righties uh, with a 333 Woba, which is pretty solid. Uh, when you look at the K rate, uh, they do strike out at a pretty decent rate. Uh, they're right under the Rangers, two spots under the Rangers. Uh, striking out 22.3% of the time. Uh, so this is definitely a spot where Shoemaker could get some Ks. We know the Twins definitely have some power bats on that team. Sano, uh, Dozier could definitely take Shoemaker deep. Uh, but playing in L.A., that is a very good uh, pitcher-friendly park. Uh, so I like Shoemaker playing at home. I think he can get some K up. I think he has K upside here. He could definitely get some strikeouts. Uh, he has been pretty solid as of late. Uh, besides his last game against Miami, he was pitching very solid. Had 29 DraftKings points against Detroit, 24 against the White Sox, 24 against Tampa Bay. So aside from that last game against Miami, uh, Shoemaker was pitching at a consistent rate. Uh, I think he can get back in the 20s today. I expect him to get at least 20 DraftKings points, have a very solid game today. Uh, so Matt Shoemaker is going to be my SP2 at uh, 9,600 today. Uh, when you plug in McCullers and Shoemaker, uh, that leaves you an average of 3,700 remaining per player. Uh, so I'm going to be giving you three value plays uh, to finish off uh, the half lineup. I don't want to give you guys just all the top plays and expect you to be able to use a lineup out of it. Uh, I want to give you uh, five players that can definitely you can definitely build around uh, that you can have some salary to work with. So starting off at third base, I'm going to be looking at a guy that I think is too cheap today. Uh, that's Manny Machado at just 3,800 getting a matchup against David Price. I uh, love this spot for Machado. Uh, he's going to be playing at home in Baltimore in Camden Yards. Uh, and that's a great hitter, uh, friendly park. He's also going to be getting a platoon advantage against David Price, which is favorable for Machado. Uh, and he does have a pretty solid BVP against Price as well. If you look at the BVP versus David Price, uh, it's a pretty solid sample size. Uh, Machado has seen Price 34 times in his career. Uh, he's had 10 at, or he's had 10 hits against uh, David Price, he's, and three of those hits have been home runs. He's batting 294 uh, against Price, which is pretty solid. Uh, I definitely like the three home runs. I think uh, Machado has some good home run potential here. Uh, he did hit a home run tonight on Friday night, uh, so maybe that'll get him going. He has been cold as of late. 
Uh, but he is starting to heat up. Had den- had 10 DraftKings points Thursday against Boston. Had He had a home run tonight on Friday night. Uh, so he's going to get double digits again. I think he can get you double digits again today on Saturday against Price. Uh, he could have a chance to go deep. Uh, we know Machado has great power. And we saw David Price didn't look that solid against uh, the White Sox. So I like Machado here. It's just 3800 I love that price tag under 4 k uh, Anytime you get Manny Machado that cheap, I think that's definitely a spot you want to attack. So I like Manny Machado at third base for a little bit of value. It's just 3800 uh, Shortstop, there's a guy that I like here. Uh, 3200 and that's Jose Reyes uh, going up against Tyler Glass now. Uh, I love Reyes' uh, potential to get some stolen bases here. Uh, Tyler Glass now really struggles with walks. Uh, he really allows a ton of runners to get on base by the walk. And then when runners get on base, he's very bad at holding runners. Uh, he has definitely allowed a ton of stolen bases this year. Uh, so I definitely could see Reyes getting walked here, getting some stolen bases, uh, easily returning value on Glass now. But even if you take away the fact with the walks and the stolen bases, Glass now has not been a solid pitcher this year. Uh, he has really struggled. So I like Jose Reyes. Uh, bad from his left side. He does bat a little bit better from his left. And it's just 38. At just 3200 he's a good value play today. I really like that price tag. I think he has some stolen base potential here. Uh, I definitely expect him to get on base uh, with that huge walk rate that Glass now has. I can definitely see Reyes getting walked, getting some stolen bases, and easily returning value at just 3200 uh, Then at outfield, there's another value play that I like here. Uh, that's Colby Rasmus, uh, just 3500 uh, Getting a matchup against Sam Gaviglio. I think, I think I'm saying that right, Gaviglio. Uh, Gaviglio has not looked that solid this year. Uh, Kobe Rasmus is going to be getting the platoon advantage against the righty. Uh, we know he does hit righties very well. Uh, anytime you get Rasmus against a pretty bad righty, he is definitely a value play that you can look at. And Rasmus has been pretty solid as of late. Uh, in his last four games, he's put up 5, 11, uh, 0, and 5 DraftKings points. Uh, so aside from that 0 against Texas, he has been pretty solid as of late. Uh, he's just 3500 on DK. Uh, you don't need much out of him for cash games to return value. Uh, I could definitely see him getting double digits today. Uh, Gavigli- Gaviglio, uh, he will give up home runs. And Rasmus does have good power. He's already hit six home runs this year. Uh, so I like Colby Rasmus today. Uh, getting the platoon advantage against the bad righty. He does hit righties uh, pretty well. So he's a good value play if you need one at outfield uh, for just 3500 uh, So yeah, these are my top five plays for tonight, guys. I went with Lance McCullers, Matt Shoemaker, uh, Manny Machado, Jose Reyes, and Colby Rasmus. Uh, when you plug these five guys in your lineup, uh, you have an average of over 3,800 remaining per player, uh, which you can definitely build around, uh, find a couple of value plays that you like, and use this half lineup and build around it. Maybe plug in some of your picks that you like. And if you want to get my lineups, uh, then be sure to follow me on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT. Um, my lineups are $5 a day, or you can get a week of lineups for $25. Uh, so message me on Twitter if you are interested in getting my lineups. I do post all my results on Twitter. Uh, even if I win or lose, I show you guys the full lineups that I gave out. Uh, so be sure to follow me on Twitter if you want to see my results or if you are interested in getting lineups. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please be sure to like the video and subscribe if you did enjoy. Uh, if this is your first time on my channel, please be sure to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Uh, I do upload these videos pretty much every day, uh, so I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. And if you never want to miss out on any videos, uh, just click the bell icon next to my YouTube name. Uh, that'll actually notify you every time I upload. Uh, so if you never want to miss out on any videos, you can cut on post notifications, get notified every time I upload. I would really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Uh, good luck tonight, guys. Peace. The Big Apple took a bite out of me. Look what I turned out to be. I wonder if my mama really means it when she says that she's proud of me. Or is she tripping and she lying? Is she on all my lies? Mean that shit ain't rocket science. I've been coming home before, and my eyes been red as signs. I've been slurring on my words when she asked me how my night went. I swear it's the white boy.